Hey. Hi folks, can you hear me? That's good. Okay, I don't know what you people are hoping to get out of my talk, but I've got on my dining room table here, I've got quite an assortment of goodies that I raided from my pantry and my fridge, all of which are suitable for, for hermit crabs. I feed my crabs mixes that I've bought from lots of places, mainly in Australia, obviously, but also they get fresh food um, every other day or so, depending on when it is and what I feel like doing. Put on three separate mats, why I put it like actually no. Um, but I just thought I'd start off with the fruit and veg that I've got. And literally this is, I haven't been out shopping particularly, this is literally what was in my pantry tonight, um, this afternoon when I got home. So here we go. I'll have to do a bit of shuffling to actually get it all to show, but hopefully it will work. Hold on. Switching, switching around. And here we have much better view than looking at me. We have a fruit and veg section. Is that showing the writing around the right way? Yep, okay, snow peas. The, um, these are organic, vitamin A, B1, C, calcium and iron. Um, they're just snow peas that have shot. I use them in stir fries and things like that. Corn on the cob. My crabs absolutely love corn. And after I've eaten it, I put in the um, husk, not the husk, the, the cob, the centre part. And there are bits on it that I can't get that the crabs still love going and eating. This, the, um, the, the cob part will actually last ages and ages in the crabitat. It does eventually go mouldy, but um, it will last for ages. And they like climbing up it and all sorts of things as well. The husks also, the crabs like it. And once they dry out a bit, they are quite good in the crabitat as well. Um, pears, mine like pears. Please remember, folks, I've got Verabilis, which are Aussies. Uh, can't guarantee that your guys will like them. I put the pears in holus bolus, or actually chunks of pear, not a whole pear, obviously, because that would not be very practical. Don't know what you guys call these. We call them zucchinis. I think some people call them courgettes. Um, I microwave these in uh, for myself, cut the ends off, and the crabs get usually just get the ends. Sometimes they get them cooked, sometimes they get them raw. They're quite popular. The babies, when they first came out of the of, uh, out onto land, they had a piece of um, zucchini end in there, and they loved it. Yams, sweet potatoes. These ones are the orange ones inside. Um, again, I zap these in the microwave for myself and I would cut off sort of the end piece, you know, depending. The babies would get that much. I'd split it open just to make it easier for them to get out. The adults would probably get this end and probably oh, that much or so because I like it and I want the rest of it myself. They will kill for this, basically. Um, as soon as it goes in the tat, they're all on top of it. I've given it to them raw, but it's not as popular. We call these capsicum. I think you call them bell peppers. Um, the crabs love these. 
often I'll just end up with the centre part and I just put, oh, let me see if I can get it out. I'll probably make a mess all over the, this one's pretty old and manky as you can see. It was just in the uh, vegetable crisper. That part, if you just, sometimes it spread out when they fall off onto the ground, onto the sub, but the crabs love the seeds. I don't know why people don't like feeding their crabs pepper because they absolutely love this and it, and, and chilli as well. Um, oh, I didn't bring that. But if you put chilli and popcorn together, they will die for it. They absolutely love it. So that's a bit manky. It'll go in the fruit in the um, crab attack sooner or later. Mandarins, um, obviously not the peel. I just, once I've peeled it when I'm eating one, I will just give a section. For the babies, I will actually take the, the little pithy skin off and then open it up. For the adults, so the pithy skin on, the, on a section is no problem at all. Um, let me just see if there's any questions. Um, bras are too much effort, Dakota? Hmm. I see someone talking about Granny Smith. I don't eat Granny Smith often. This is actually... I think it's Pink Lady. There's a piece of that in my juvenile tat at the moment. Uh, not this one, obviously. But seriously, if I put slices or pieces of apple straight into the tank, they will eat it eventually. If I put a, an apple core that I have chewed on and slobbered all over, put that into the tank, they're on it in seconds. So they much prefer the ones that have got human saliva on them for some reason or other. Obviously, you have to take it out before they get to the seeds because the seeds are um, have uh, they're, they're, they're something seriously bad. Arsenic, I think it is, in them. Cyanide. Thank you, Stacey. I knew I knew arsenic wasn't right. Carrots. Put it in raw, they like it. Again, they usually get my leftovers or my preparation things. I will chop the ends off and they will, they'll eat it raw, but they do like it cooked as well. Mushrooms, I had some, whole, some mushrooms that went a bit past the use-by date a while ago and I dehydrated them. I actually do have a dehydrator. Um, good source of... Chitin, I think is how you pronounce it, chitin, chitin, um, and lots of vitamins and minerals in these as well. Oh, green beans. They're a good snack. I actually have tied them to give them a bit of enrichment. I've tied them by the stalks and so they sort of have to reach up and forage sort of for them a bit. Don't know that it shows up very well. It's, I think my light's a bit bright. Is that, is that better? No, turn the light right off then. Yeah. Um, cauliflower, anyway. It's only a little bit. Cauliflowers were $2 each the other day. So I bought two. I'm going to make some cauliflower soup. Bananas. They love bananas. The banana does go very, very mushy very quickly in the humidity. And the last thing is eggs. Basically what I do is I scramble eggs. I'll scramble an egg and... Just chop it up into bits. Oops. Yeah. Um, and then you can just break a little bit off. 
yeah. and put put little bits in the, and it thaws out really quickly in the habitat. Any questions on fruit and veg? Um, Sarah, which foods do they love the best? I think corn and corn and apple call out of the lot that I've just talked about. Um, but they'll eat my lot just sort of get a whole variety and I, I don't really pay a great deal of attention to what's their favourite or whatever. But I do know that apple cores that have been eaten are more popular than whole than whole apple slices. Okay, let me just excuse me for a minute while I change this around. Oops, the sweet potatoes just ended up on the floor. Okay, this next one is basically nuts and seeds. Coconut oil, I often mix powders and stuff in with that powdered food that I've got. Um, I'll mix chai seeds in with it as well. Oh, that is back to front. I thought it was the right way around. Oh, well, not to worry. Um, you can sprinkle these just on the sub and sometimes they will shoot, sometimes they don't. I'll talk about those in, in a minute. Um, that's my container of cashews, but I ate the cashews last night while I was listening to all the... Um, talks and things so there's not many left so I'll have to go I actually have a really good bulk food place in my hometown and that's why I get stuff in all the um, containers it's all um, comes without its own bags and stuff and even this seed is actually from there as well and I've just put it in the, into a container that I had before so here we've got coconut oil which I use for cooking and stuff cashews almonds and there is some um oh yes almond meal or almond flour um i use that fair bit in in cooking so and again i buy it from the bulk food place so it's readily it's nice and healthy Peanut butter, yes, this is in a, in a craft commercial peanut butter jar, but it is all it is is crushed peanuts. Um, go to the health food shop, put the peanuts are in the top, you just choose whether you want smooth, medium or crunchy, and you press the button and then it just all comes into there like a great big sloppy poo. <laughs> Again... This is actually raw honey. It's in a commercial bottle, but a friend of mine has beehives. And so this is honey that has been collected on our, on my parents' farm where my friend has her beehives. Yes, yeah, Stacey, the health food shop. You can get peanut butter, almond butter, or maca butter. Uh, macadamia butter they've got all three of the nuts and it's basically just a machine that does it crushes it and it just you know like soft serve ice cream and it just comes out and goes into thing and you it's actually cheaper to buy that much health food homemade peanut butter than it is to buy the same amount commercial from 
craft or whoever it is that makes it. Um, these are red, uh, brown lentils. I've got red lentils and yellow ones as well, but I just thought the crabs aren't real keen on those, but it's something that they, they can eat. I'll just have a look through. Um, the health food place I go, you can also buy um, macadamia, grapeseed, um, peanut, and oh, probably about 15 different varieties of natural cold-pressed oils as well. Um, I've got the macadamia um, oil over in near my stove. I forgot to bring it. Yeah, mine like... Um, Mine like the almonds best. They're not real keen on peanut butter. I tried peanut butter with spirulina powder in it and it wasn't, it wasn't a hit at all. Um, I've just found sitting here, this looks a bit gross, but this is also an off cut from my um, steak from last night that I had for dinner. I'll just chop it up into smaller pieces and put it in the um, crab attack at some stage or other. I may even stick this in the freezer to um, keep it. Also in the freezer, while we're talking about that, I have prawn shells. Now, I do not eat prawns myself. I think they're horrible, smelly things. But my parents do and lots of friends do and quite often they will say, oh, I have prawns. Would you like some um, prawn shells and prawn heads? And so usually I have a container about this big that's got, you know, half a dozen prawn shells and, and I get one of those out every now and then and put it in the in the habitat. Let's have a look and see. I see, Dakota, you freeze fruit and veggies. Where I live, we're semi-tropical, so we've got a really good range of fruit and veg available all year round. Um, so I don't find the need to do that, really. I'm set. MJ, I'm glad you find me hilarious. I don't know what it is about me that's hilarious, but that's good. At least I'm entertaining some people. Okay, then you put it right. Okay. Anything, any other questions? Yeah, you're right, Stacey. I only do give a little bit of honey and I usually mix it. Often I mix it with the peanut butter, um, but they don't get it very often. But as I said, it is raw, straight from the hives, basically. Um, they don't, it's a treat, they don't get it very often at all. Okay, I will be back. With group number three. Whoops. Now, just to prove that I didn't just go out and buy these, these are pepitas, um, pumpkin seeds. But see, I do have some here. This is my current stack and this is to re the replacement one. Same with the... Sunflower seeds. These are just Coles is, Coles is a supermarket here. And this actually is a pack of commercial quinoa, but I have got a um, container 
of it from the health food shop as well. That containers um, the mix black and red and white quinoa. Um, what have we got here? Sesame seeds, white ones. Um, I put a video up at some stage or other, I think probably in the baby um, group of my tiny weeny little babies eating eating a seed and it was so big it had its whole it basically was using both of its claws and it had one seed in and it was eating it it was so classic just gives you an idea of the size of the aussie babies um linseed i also usually have lsa which is linseed sunflower and almond i think um, meal again coconut and the last thing i've got here i know it's in a plain flour container but that's because i've got it from the bulk food shop it's basically rolled oats for ready for making porridge um, but the crabs love that as well out of those the sunflower the linseed and the rolled oats are probably the most popular i just uh for instance for the sake of doing it i just had a look the, um, at the um, protein fat and fiber the quinoa has per 100 grams the quinoa has 13 grams of protein the sunflower seeds have 23.3 and the pumpkin seeds have 30.2 grams per 100. Um, fat, the quinoa has four, sunflowers have 56.7, and the pumpkin seeds have 50.2. And fiber, the quinoa has 5.4, sunflowers are 12.6, and pumpkin seeds are six. So basically, really, if you look at that, the sunflower seeds are probably the best all round option for the crabs, but um, pumpkin seeds would come a close second. And that basically, oh, and I do have, as I, as I showed you, they do get chunks of my um, steak and stuff like that. Um, if I make an omelette, or scrambled eggs or whatever they do also get some of the scrapings of the pan so sometimes that's got salt and pepper and garlic and chives and cheese and all sorts of stuff but there wouldn't be a great deal of that in the um, scrapings of the pan so that basically sums up what I was showing, but as you can see, hang on, I'll see if I can do it. <clears throat> There's a fair bit on my table that came from my kitchen, which is suitable for crabs. Tomatoes, melons, um, eggplant, lots of other fruit and veg are uh, okay i just didn't happen to have any in my fridge at the time any questions if you want to turn your mic on and ask a question um feel free yeah kelly mine have dragged off almonds as well they do that with the um Oh, popcorn as well. Um, sorry, I don't have any popcorn. Hi, Ka uh, Carrie, how are you? Hi. Did you have a question? For being here. Can you hear me? Did you have a question, Carrie? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, you have a couple. Um, um, I, I posted them. Um, do For the seeds, um, do they need to be... Or is there any way, uh, or are they any way um, beneficial to leave the shells on for the crabs um, for or, or other nutritional value? 
for my adults, I just throw the seeds and things in. For the babies, and I've got minuscule little three-month-old babies, woohoo! Um, I have crushed the pumpkin seeds and I've crushed the almonds and I've crushed sunflower seeds as well. Um, the sesame seeds are put in whole, but I also have crushed some so that they can get to them. The adults, I just, the almonds, they will actually pick the, the yeah. outer covering of the almonds is actually good extra fibre as far as I'm, is what my thinking is. Um, peanuts, I don't buy peanuts in shells very often and I've never put the whole shell of a peanut in, but the brown skin part I would throw in. But um, I've the put whole shells. shells. Did that the answer almonds, your question, Harry? The almonds, you leave them in the in the shells. Uh, can you actually even find almonds with that, with the shells on? Um, I have. I've never seen almonds in shells, but I leave like that um, brown skin I leave on. Is that what you're talking about? Um, I, well, I thought they came in, in a in yeah, they, case. Yeah, they would, but I've never seen them in shells. Um, maccas come in shells. And I put maca shells in. Oh, and I put pistachio shells in at some stage, and they got totally ignored. <laughs> um, uh, but pistachios got eaten, but they didn't do anything with the shells. Was it important for them to have um, some some foods that are like that for I, I don't know, for lack of better words, conditioning their claws or? keeping them, you know, or, or just exercise and strength, or is that just going to deter them from from even eating uh, in the first place? It it basically, it's more natural. It gives them something to do. If it's all presented to them as, as powders and mixes and stuff, um, mm -hmm. they don't actually have to use their natural instincts. Like with this, they've got to actually, um, <laughs> they've got to work out how to, get into it and how to break it and that's what the the little baby was doing it had a sesame seed in its pincers like this and it was at it and eating and i was watching really carefully and i wasn't even certain that it was actually getting anything at all because i didn't know if it was able to break through the skin because as i said they were tiny and they were probably only three or four weeks old at the time and but it was obviously happy enough sitting there picking it had had hold and it was picking and taking to its mouth so it must have been getting something from it what what it was getting no <laughs> <idea>. <laughs> okay. but i think they need natural stuff because it's a different eating behavior as i say they actually have to work like at that. you know cracking it work at getting into the middle bit and it's a different style of eating than just dipping your, your pincer in some powdery stuff and sticking it in your mouth um yeah. so so i yeah. actually might be you know an, well, an yeah. enrichment factor maybe because they're very curious um, creatures. dakota yeah, so Sue, I just didn't want to cut either of you off. You were having a good discussion there. <laughs> so um, actually, I have given my crabs um, peanuts in the shell. They seem to prefer the the they, they seem to prefer it that way. And I feel really? like putting it, I actually purchased, these are huge. So you might not have room for them, but uh, these are bird foraging toys. Like that you put in a bird tank and you yeah, hang it yeah. up. And I find putting like nuts, seeds, dried fruit, or um, that works really well in these. And then they're not so hard for them to push around. So I find it don't, doesn't get scattered. And unless you have bigger guys like mine, it's pretty lightweight. How do they and reach into it? It's got big oh, slits on the side. 
Yep. Which See, would almonds, allow like bird beaks. Fall out, but yeah, almonds and stuff like that, that would fall out. Yeah, so peanuts work perfectly and they go crazy for it. Popcorn works really well. Um, some like bigger dried fruit pieces. Yeah. I don't fill this obviously because I have two crabs. So it would be a <laughs> lot of wasted food. That's half the reason why uh, when you mentioned, when you'd seen my comment there in regards to um, me freezing food, it just allows me to provide them with more fresh food uh, options than if I were to like cut up, for instance, buy a zucchini that I intend on doing nothing with. Yeah. Um, Is there any reason why that wouldn't be a good idea? I guess that was my question. No, no. Okay. Um, it was some, one of the ladies... I can't think who has been making stuff for babies and she's made some little um look like ice block trays but only tiny weeny little ones and they've got a, a cover on them and you have the crabs have to actually pick in and it's designed for putting larger bits in like a chunk of steak that they can get in but they won't be able to drag off so um that's the same sort of thing have you tried putting meat in it dakota sorry have you tried putting a, a chunk of meat of meat of i my guys don't touch raw meat uh sorry cooked meat right. if i put it in there like fresh meat they prefer freeze dried i don't know why that is they just prefer it dried they won't touch it, it'll get moldy, and then it grosses me out. So I don't provide them very much, very much fresh meat. That's the same thing with fresh food. For whatever reason, my guys don't really go crazy for it. There's a few odd things, but generally they don't really like it. Just hang on a second. I don't know if this will work. Um... I found if I cook egg though, they go wild about egg if it's cooked in coconut oil. They go absolutely <laughs> wild for it. Hang on, I'll just take the lid off for a minute. This is my baby's food. Can you? Can, I can't see that because it's sort of at ninety degrees to my That's head. A lot but of food. <laughs> yeah, but there's there's forty four babies in there. Yeah, I realise. <laughs> and there's you could actually see one just there. Yeah, I see them. They're little adventurers, and I love it. Oh, there's another one down on the um. Oh, there's two down on the green as well anyway so that's a mixture of all sorts of things there they're so cute you just you just need to pant you just need to zoom in on them so we just can watch them <laughs> yeah well that's not what this talks about <laughs> all right that was my question though thank you sue anyone else with questions i'll have a read through the Amanda, the baby group is actually for people with adopted babies or people like me who've read them. Um, it's, it's a Facebook group. I don't know who can actually, I think you might have to actually have babies to join. Um, Mary or one of the American people will know. Just having a look through, excuse me for a minute while I scroll back. Uh, dragging off almonds. Oh, go away. I'll have to try those uh, uh, peanuts in shells. I'll. I'm sure I have I don't eat cucumber Regina so I haven't tried mine with cucumber um, somebody else might be able to answer that Rochelle people say that you shouldn't give crabs you know seasoning and stuff like that but hey that piece of steak that I'm going to give mine that had salt and pepper and um, some no it just had salt and pepper on it um i don't use a lot of salt but it had pepper on it and they they love chili um so i can't see why 
you can't give them spices. I, I understand not giving them table salt because it's got the um, it's got iodine in it and it's got an anti-caking agent. But I just give them little bits of all sorts of stuff. Um, I must admit I'm not particularly fussy about only giving um, organic or only giving you particular things like that. Um, I figure if it's okay for me to eat, it's pretty well okay for the crabs. Um, risky, no, I don't make the porridge for the crabs. I think that would be too sticky and dangerous. Okay, it'd be okay for the adults if I gave them little bits, but um, I just give them the raw, raw oats. How many people are on your, oh, right. I think there's about half a dozen of us who have actually successfully bred, but um, a lot of people would know better than me because I'm way over on the other side of the world, not always totally up with the American end. Sunflower seeds, no, I just, oh, pine nuts they also like too. Um, Sunflower seeds, I just throw them in. Oh, a bit hard to see. Yeah. Just throw them in whole. Um, I haven't ever tried putting a part of a sunflower flower in just as the seeds are coming. We do get them here. Um, they actually grow commercially. Um, So, yeah, Stacey, how do you cook the amaranth? Um, I've, I've seen it, but I've never known what to do with it. <sighs> if anyone wants to come on and talk, please do fill in the quiet. <laughs> But that's all right. Some people have reported crabs haven't touched it. What's that? Garlic? Yeah. Okay. Um, love both of what, Brooke, um, your crabs love mushrooms and something or other else. I can't, I'm reading through, but I'm quite, not quite sure. I have been looking for millet, um, Brooke. I have been looking for millet for nearly six months here and nobody has got it anywhere. I don't know why. Yep, dried flowers and leaves, but they're not part of my kitchen pantry. So that's why I didn't mention, <laughs> mention them. Um, I do give them seaweed. I do have pulses and um, dulse and stuff like that every now and then, but I don't have any at the moment. Goodness me. Righto. You probably can bake a whole sunflower head, um, Marie, Marie, um, but I've never done it. I should because, as I said, we can get them here locally. Liquids, I give them, um, Carrie, I give them macadamia oil. Um, sunflower oil and avocado oil that I get from the health food, the, the bulk food shop. Um, uh, 
Can I open up? I don't know how to do that, Kath. Uh, Ka Ka Carrie, I don't know how to open up the link to join you. Oh, there I am. Oh, hi. You've, you've joined me, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how it happened, but um, also when I when I was um, asking about the liquids, uh, I to know about the oils because that was a concern too, but in terms of like hydration and it, and it occurred to me would that you know that it might be easier for them and they might go for um, for fresh pressed juices not anything you buy in the store but something that you do at home you know with like a juicer like carrots and celery and you know something that they can kind of hydrate with the official um i haven't even considered that yeah, and the, a change, the, change of pace for them would be like having a, a, a yeah. veggie if, if you did carrot juice, though, the pulp would probably be eaten and there'd probably be still a fair amount of moisture in that. Oh, yeah. And so and so that's an orange juice. Huh? Um, as I said, the same with orange juice. If you if you're juicing oranges, um, the pulp there would probably be um, useful with a higher fluid content. I don't know that they actually need a lot of fluid, though. Really, 